Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a tag video to share. Um, 360 Nails got in touch with me on um, Instagram and asked me if I would do this tag of hers, and I said yes. It just took me a minute to get to it. This is the All Things Nail Tag by 360 Nails. 360 Nails is at 360nails.com. She's got a blog, and then she's also on YouTube, 360 Nails TV, and then on Instagram, she's at 360 Nails. So, there you go. Um, favorite base coat you've ever tried? <clears throat> well, I do love Orly Bonder. This is one of my favorites, as you can tell. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of it. I don't use this as much anymore because I'm not worried about how long my manicure lasts. <laughs> so, but here lately I've been using the Nailtix formula too. This is my go-to. So, that is that. First question, number two. Favorite cuticle hand cream? Well, I'm going to have to insert a picture of the one I always, always use. It's um, J.R. Watkins Lemon Cream, and it's a nice, thick, um, very nice, creamy, thick one. I'll put that on before I go to bed. But I also love the Soap and Glory Hand Food. This is one of my other favorites for hand creams, hand lotions, hand creams, that kind of thing. Okay, my favorite mainstream brand. Um, <laughs> this is kind of hard. <laughs> um, I ended up going with China Glaze, and I, because China Glaze just makes all kinds of great colors. I mean, just they, they just come out with some really good stuff. So I'm gonna stick with China Glaze, and it says your favorite polish from that brand. And mine, of course, is Ruby Pumps. I'm not really into red, but this polish just sings and speaks to me like no other. So there's that one. The next question, number five, favorite indie brand. And that's really hard because I'm an indie junkie. I love, love, love indies. And, um, but I'm gonna go with polish. And before I show you my favorite one, um, my favorite polish from that brand has got to be Invisibility Cloak. It is like a purple, silver, shimmery, just beautiful, beautiful polish. And this one is Invisibility Cloak. Yeah, I, didn't, I thought I had it upside down. <laughs> it's just, it's very unusual and fantastic. They're, but with Indies, I mean, <laughs> that's the draw of Indies is they're all unusual and fantastic. Okay. Next, number seven, glossy or matte? I'm a glossy girl. I like glossy, plump, glossy, shiny looking nails. But there are times that I totally like the look of matte. And I actually think I prefer matte on other people than me. So, you know, I see other manicures on YouTube and Instagram and I think, oh, that looks great. But, you know, I'm a glossy girl. Okay, long or short nails? I prefer long nails, but not like crazy long, like dangerous, deadly long. I like kind of, well, I think see, I got one hand painted, one not. Kind of like, just to where there's a little bit hanging over. That's just my preference. I guess really what I'm saying is I like medium nails. <laughs> Which, that wasn't a question, long or short. So if I had to choose between just long or short, I'd probably pick long. Dark polish or bright polish? I'm gonna have to say bright polish. I like neons, I like things that pop. I like things people can see from a distance. <laughs> okay, thick polish, number 10, I'm sorry. Thick polish formula or thin polish formula? I like a thicker polish. I don't want it so thick that it's dragging and smearing all over the nail, but I like it to stay on the nail and not run over into the sidewalls. That's just, that, that makes me just crazy. Um, and it gives Woody a workout, so, you know, there's that. Okay, number 11, nail art or solid color? Well, if you, if you know anything about my channel, you know I'm all about the nail art. I have trouble doing just accent nails. I want to do the design on all of them. So I have to really um, try not to put nail art on everything. 3D nail art. I love 3D nail art. I think it looks really, really pretty, but I have trouble with things to, I work in shipping, so um, I can't have things that's getting caught and bumped on stuff. It just, just, it just doesn't work for me, but I love the look of it. And um, 
I do have some of that, um, like, I don't know, it's like clay-like stuff that you can make flowers and you bake it in the UV lamp or the LED lamp and then you can, you know, wear them on your nails. I've got some of that and I do want to play with it. So I might change my mind on that 3D nail art thing. Number 13, favorite top coat you've ever tried? It's a no-brainer. Posh. I love, love, love Posh. Now, if I'm not doing Posh, you know, from Sally's, then I also prefer the Pure Ice Girl on the Run. This is a great, great, great top coat. Love it. Next, least favorite polish of all time. This was easy, and I don't even know how I still have this one in my collection. The one time I used it, I literally had a meltdown. I mean, it was just awful. This is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. This is the new formula. I don't know if that makes a difference, but this is Breezy Blue. This polish was ridiculous. I, I had so much trouble with it, and I mean, the color's beautiful. It's like a baby blue with some, some shimmer in it. I won't wear it again, I can tell you that. <laughs> okay. Number 15, top favorite polish of all time. I'm going to go back to the same one, Ruby Pumps. This is, okay, just to let you know, I have a massive polish collection. I'm on my fourth bottle of this, and this one's like down to here. This just tells you how much I love it. And I don't even wear red. It's crazy. So, favorite polishes for spring, summer, and autumn, and winter. I'm going to do a little slideshow here. And show you manicures of me wearing my favorite polishes for those seasons. Winter, I like those frosty winter colors. Autumn, I like autumn shades. And in spring, I like the pastels. And in summer, I like the neons. So I'm going to skip on to number 17, natural nails or fake. I think fake nails look great on some people. Um, I will never wear them again. I wore them for my wedding and I have serious dippage and ridges in both of my nails. They're just wonky. I lost my thumbnails, totally. I mean, I had no nail at all on either thumbs after my wedding. Um, the lady that did my nails way back in the day just filed the mess out of them. I mean, I felt like my thumbs were on fire and it was just a bad application. So, I have some serious damage from 30 years ago, so I won't I won't do fake nails again, but I don't mind if other people do. I think they've gotten a lot better in the salons and doing doing better. Okay, number 19. What's the most expensive polish you've ever purchased? Now, I'm going to show you the most expensive polish, but I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it. <laughs> it's bad. So, I have Clarins, and this is a 230. And it's by far the most expensive polish I've ever bought. It's insanely pretty, but I don't know that it's worth the money I paid for it. So there it is. She's on show. So that is the most expensive polish I've ever purchased. Number 20 in this last question is the least expensive polish you've ever purchased. I found some polishes at Rite Aid one time, and I think they were 32 cents. And then I got up to the register, and there was some kind of coupon thing. So basically, I paid like five cents for them. I, it was crazy. I don't have them anymore. I've given them away, so I can't show you those. I don't even remember what brand it was. But anytime you can get polish for cents, whatever, 30 cents, 40 cents, whatever, it's just a winner, winner. So. I'm going to leave links for, whoa, what? I'm going to leave links for 360 Nails down below. Um, you can go check out her blog, YouTube, Instagram, all of it. Just check it out. And since this is a tag video, I need to tag people. So I'm going to tag, and if I forget to tag you, who don't think you're off the hook. <laughs> you get to do this one too. Um, I'm going to tag Sylvia from Hell of the Nails. For sure. It's been a while since I tagged Sylvia for anything. So I want Sylvia to do this one. I would love to see um, Jill for Never Naked Nails do this one. Um, let me think. Jen for uh, Manny on a Budget. And I'll have links for them down there. So you can go check out their channels and you 
to leave comments, tell them they need to do this tag. Um, and that's all I can think of right now. My mind just goes blank when I get in front of this camera. And by the way, Cotton's back here. He's chilling. He just wanted to say hi. Not really, but <laughs> he's being a good boy. So that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this tag. And um, if you would, if you don't have a YouTube channel and you would like to tell me your, you know, 20 questions answers, I would love to hear them. So just leave me a comment down below. And that is it. I will. Um, let you go for now and that is all I have so until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon bye